All right, Nate, let's, let's get right to it first. How do you think the team got back to work this week, coming off that mini buy, off that disappointing loss to Philly on Thursday? Uh, you know, it was tough. We had a couple of days to, uh, you know, gather ourselves, but uh, get our bodies right. But, you know, today was a really good work day. And, you know, guys are, are right back at it because that's, that's really all we can do at the end of the day is get back to work and, uh, like I've said, control what we can control. And that's, you know, putting in work to prepare for the opponent this week. And, um, you know, that's really it. How has this team kind of stayed together mentally? Obviously, you've lost more games than you've wanted to, but you've continued to come out and, and play hard every week. No, I mean, the, the team's been been good. It's, it's, uh, it's actually impressive how well uh, this, this team has stuck together uh, through thick and thin and, and uh, you know, they work extremely hard. Everyone works extremely hard from the you know training camp to uh, the season. It's just built really as as the weeks have gone on, uh, and that's been impressive to see. And I'm actually proud to be a part of that. Um, it's been tough, but I think you know we know as a group how close we are uh, each week, and, and it's you know it's tough to swallow every week. But we know we're right there, and uh, we want to we want to get it right. And uh, all we can do is uh, control the controllables, which is the work we put in for our opponents. And the team's done a really good job of just focusing on that. So it's been good. And Nate, for the most part, except for that 49ers game, you guys have been in every game. You know, that first week against the Steelers, you guys are right there at halftime. You go down to the wire in, 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 yep. in, in all the division games. What needs to improve in order to kind of get this team, you know, over the top? And, you know, sometimes it's the play in the first quarter that, that causes you to lose, even if it's close at the end. What are the things you guys need to do to just finish these games better and start coming in with victories? You know, um, uh, we, we got to start just stop making the, the, little, the little errors. Like you said, um, they, those can add up. And uh, we, can, we continue to do that throughout a game. Um, you know, a couple too many, you, you turn into a – you you be you're in a close game, closer game than you want to be in, and then uh, you know a mistake at the end, and and then you lose. Uh, we we really the way I see it, one in five in in games that came down to the last play or last drive, right? And um, you know you'd like to be on the other side of that, but there's a lot of stuff we could do early on, like you just spoke to uh, early in the game to to maybe you know not put ourselves in that situation. Um, but at the end of the day, we, uh, you know, got to got to clean up the uh, the fundamentals and the technique and um, some of some of the the mental things. But um, you know, like I've said all along, we just got to continue to work to get better. And um, you know, the, it, it will it will come. Guys continue to work um, their tails off like they have all year, and we continue to get better and improve. Um, it's it's going to be there for us. And your secondary has just gone through so much change. I mean, look at the guys that are playing serious, serious minutes and, and snaps for you guys. Logan Ryan, he didn't show up to the end of camp. Madre Harper's new. Isaac Yadam's new. Ryan Lewis is new. You guys have had so many faces in and out. What's been the challenge in starting to integrate all these guys, moving guys in and out of different spots? Jubal Peppers was hurt for a couple of games. And just keeping everything together. And really, you haven't allowed many big plays this year. You've been, you've been pretty solid in the back end. Yeah, I mean, um, there's always room for improvement. We've we've got quite a few plays that we could get off off the tape, but you know, at the end of the day, the, it's the NFL. You know, uh, guys get hurt, guys get released. Uh, you know, new guys sign. It's just you look at it throughout the entire league. Um, you know, guys are getting you know, like I said, injured or, or released or, or transactions take place. Um, you know more than we would like in the back end but at the end of the day you got it is what it is and uh you know we're all here to play football and and do what we can to um do do what's best for the team to help us win and that's what we try to do whether you know one week this guy's playing or the next week somebody else is is playing a, a same or similar spot um you know we've got the right mindset as a team that uh we're here to win games and if you know, that means your number is called and your next guy up. That's what it is. And if that means someone else is playing, we're going to help them prepare as best as, as possible. And uh, that's been the mindset. And, um, you know, it's, it's a really a good team atmosphere to be a part of. Uh, a lot of selfless guys. What does that say about Coach Henderson and Coach Graham able to kind of get you guys ready 
in a lot of cases on such short notice with guys coming in and having to learn the system pretty quickly. I mean, they've done a obviously fantastic job um, getting guys prepared, especially young guys prepared. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, it speaks to you know them putting the team first because they're going to do whatever they can to help um, this team win football games. This defense do as best as it can to to contain teams from scoring and get the offense the ball. So. Uh, you know, it shows where their priorities are, and they've done a great job in preparing guys and are willing to do whatever it takes to uh, get us as, as prepared as possible. And um, that's what we're going to continue to do. And, um, you know, I'd like to speak to the, the atmosphere they've built where, uh, you know, everyone um, understands how, how it is. And we're, you know, like I said, a lot of selfless guys, and that starts with the coaching staff. And it really seems like, Nate, you guys have really slid into a real comfort zone, and you guys have played – some of these zone coverages extremely well, the, uh, whether it's a single high in the cover three or playing cover two, you guys have made teams really sustain drives against you and, pre- you know, preventing a lot of those big plays. There's been a couple at the end of these games which, which have hurt you, but for the most part, you've kept everything in front of you. Uh, how important has that been to executing some of these more zone-heavy schemes you've seen over the last few weeks that Coach Graham has put into your game plan? Uh, yeah, I mean... At the end of the day, you know, whether you call zone man or blitz, whatever we call we try to execute it to the best of our ability, right? Um, you know, try to call a complimentary game. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, we want the team to snap it as many times as they can because, uh, you know, giving up big plays is not how you win football games as a defense. Of course. So uh, ultimately, uh, you know, just trying to minimize the big plays like you spoke about and uh, – you know, keep keep the uh, the offense in front of us. Come up and, and, and do a better job tackling. We, we've we've left some out there, including myself, and we just got to improve on those little things. But um, you know, uh, the there's been some big plays we can get off tape. We're we're gonna try to improve there. But ultimately, like I said, we're just trying to keep them snapping the ball and um, you know play another play, keep it alive. Hey, Giant fans, get a New York Giants checking account from Investors Bank with the Giants branded debit card, security features, and discounts at the Giants online shop. You can earn up to $250 when you open an account at InvestorsBank.com slash Giants. Member FDIC. I want to talk to you about the special teams outfit here, Nate, because I really think for the most part you guys have done a great job. Could you just talk about the level of detail that the coaches drill you guys with over the course of the week? Thomas McGahee, of course, Joe Judge oversees the whole program. We have Joe Judge in for our coaches show every week. And on one special teams coverage play, he sits in front of a telestrator and draws for like 12 minutes and talks about every single little detail every player must uh, put out there on the field in order for the play to be successful. Can you just kind of let fans know what the level of detail is that these guys drill you on on these individual special teams plays? Yeah, I mean, we don't. We don't just uh, throw the ball down the field and everybody just run crazy and try to tackle the guy or whatnot. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just, you know, just like offense or defense, it's its own niche thing that, um, you know, there's guys moving and there's schemes that are taking place and things have to happen in a coordinated way to get the outcome that you desire. Um, you know, uh, you, you adjust to what, the other team is giving you just like you do offensively or defensively. Um, and it's just a little more foreign because uh, we don't see as many plays of it. But, you know, um, yeah, I mean, we're out there protecting a punt and, uh, you know, we got to block the guys that are, are are rushing. We don't just snap it and just see uh, see how it goes, right? So there's a lot of intricate detail that goes into, you know, whether it's protection schemes or coverage schemes or return schemes um, that based on what either our opponent's giving us or, you know, what we studied a certain week that we are prepared to do in the game. So, you know, maybe it gives us an edge to make a big play because kicking game plays are one play series where you can have this massive impact in the game in, in in a brief moment and any chance we can to get that edge on a team you know, we're trying to do that. And uh, the coaches have done a great job to try to put us in a positions to have those plays and have success. And in the same way, I feel like sometimes fans at home watch special teams. They put it on autopilot and you watch certain teams. It's kind of on autopilot. When we watch the Giants run special teams this year, you never know what you guys are going to do. And I think it kind of speaks to the level of detail and film study of your opponents each week. 
and how much work you guys do to identify potential weaknesses that you can take advantage of, whether it's the type of kick you, you use on, on kickoff or punt, or even fakes, depending on the team, right? I mean, yeah, you said it. It uh, just really depends on, on the week. And, uh, you know, like I, like I spoke to earlier, just any, any chance that we may be able to gain an edge in the game and create an impactful play that changes the outcome of the game, you know, not only those plays, because those obviously are game-changing plays, um, like explosive plays offensively, like turnovers on defense, but um, just those other plays, too, that are complementary football plays that, you know, we set the offense up with better field position than, you know, backing them up, or vice versa. If we have really good coverage and we put the, the other team's offense on a long field and they got to go 90, 80 yards, you know, versus 70. I mean, that's a first down. That's, you know, a couple first downs. Any, any chance we can to help, uh, it helps complementary football, helps our team win. The New York Giants and Quest Diagnostics want our fans to come back stronger than ever. Now you can order your own lab test through Quest Direct to get the health answers you need most. We're joined by Giant Safety and Special Teams Ace Nate Ebner. Is it weird watching the tape? And seeing Tom Brady in a Tampa Bay Buccaneer jersey. Uh, luckily, I've I've seen it for a few weeks now, so <laughs> I got used to it. But um, yeah, a little bit, you know. It's uh, it's it's a little weird. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. But at the same time, you know, I I reflect on the NFL and what it is, and you know, guys don't last, you know, a fraction of the the time that Tom had lasted in in one place. So. You know, guys move around, and uh, that's that's the nature of the beast that we're in. And you know, at the end of the day, uh, just like teams do, they make the what's the best decision for them. Players, players, you know, got to do that too. Um, it is a business at the end of the day. So the fact that you know, Tom did what's best for him, him, I'm I'm happy for him, and uh, you know, wish him, you know, all the success except for uh, when he plays us. You know, it's funny. There were some whispers when he left New England. Oh, maybe the arm strength's not there. You know, this and that. And then you watch him on tape down in Tampa. He's firing the ball down the field left and right. <laughs> he looks like the same guy to me that he was 10 years ago. I don't know about you, Nate. Well, they've been saying that he's been falling off for the last 10 years as it is. I mean, I remember when I was coming in as a young player, you know, like nine, eight years ago, when they were saying that about him. And they continue to say that about him. And he continues to be Tom Brady. So um, he's going to be a tough opponent to prepare for. Um, he's the greatest of all time. So we're going to have to, you know, put our best foot forward to uh, prepare for an opponent, opponent like this. So. The other guy you're familiar with on the team is, is Rob Gronkowski. He's kind of come out and had a couple really big weeks in a row. What makes him such a difficult cover for linebackers and safeties in the secondary? Where do you want to start? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he uh huge, huge human being. Um, plays physical, uh, super strong, super fast, believe it or not. I mean, he, he can roll. Uh, great hands, fantastic hands. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's hard. He's a hard one to deal with. He's, he can really do it all. You know, he can play physical. He can finesse you. He can do it all. He can block. He's... He's one of the best tight ends to play the game, and uh, he's going to be tough to prepare for as well. Final question. Their offense in general, when you look at that Bruce Arians attack, they like to get the ball downfield. They have a vertical passing game. What are some of the important principles that you guys have to stick to in order to have success in general against that offense with all the weapons they have that are running around that field? Yeah, I think we kind of spoke to that already. You know, like we, we've got to make this team snap the ball. We can't give up explosive plays. And we got to keep them in front of us and, um, you know, do the fundamental things like come up and tackle out of zone coverage. And, uh, like I said, not blow any, any big plays and allow them to gain momentum and make them continue to snap the ball over and over again and drive the ball down the field and um, really not, you know, allow, like I said, those explosive plays and, and their impact players to get their hands on the ball and, and, and gash us. So we got to minimize that. And, uh, you know, that's where we got to start. 